Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel, it's me Kazaru. In today's video I'm going to show you how I achieve this golden, smoky, warm toned eye look. So keep on watching and subscribe if you like anything makeup related, reviews and tutorials. And if you have hooded eyes like me, then I can show you lots of tips and tricks on how to achieve these cool, lovely looks. Okay, so here is the Modern Renaissance palette. And at the end when I've created some looks, I'm going to rank the palette out of five and then at the end, maybe give it a few more weeks, I'm going to do some more tutorials and I'm going to rank all the palettes that I've been doing looks with. Um, so we're going to rank them with how they blended, um, did, how long did they wear on the eye for, uh, how often can I go in and make do different looks with them and how, like, how many times am I actually going to reach up that certain palette and how many looks can I get out of it and is it worth like our money, okay? So this is the Modern Renaissance palette. This is what it looks like. Lovely mattes and shimmers in this palette. And here we go. I've already prepped my eye with the NYX primer. And I've got my Love Shy. So good at sticking your shimmers down. And okay. And I've got my brush pad and I've got my brushes ready to rock and roll. So let's do this. I don't normally do warmer tones like this on myself. I always go to like cooler tones I feel I do like this palette though but it's a bit on the warmer side you've got some cooler shades in here though like this one and then these are lighter and sort of cooler but it is a bit more of like a you know it's a it's a warmer palette isn't it really um but yeah but I do like this look and that shimmer shade in the middle how it pops on my eye so yeah I'm feeling it and I threw on this lip I had to change my top because it was just throwing the whole look off so it's got a little um, strappy top on. Okay, so let's start off with, so going in across the crease with uh, Raw Sienna, just on a little uh, tapered brush like this. And just want to put that pretty much outlining the crease with this shade. It's a really lovely shade. You see how it just goes on? This palette just blends out like a dream. And this palette, like, I used to think it was overhyped before I got it, but now I have it in my collection, and I do really, really like it. It's a really nice one. And I do want to get some other Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. I will. Look at that sun. It's coming from the curtain. I would have it open, but then it's like, the sun will be out, and then it won't, and then I'll have a horrible dark shadow, and it will just look weird. <laughs> but it's a nice day at the moment. It is uh, the afternoon. Just been out doing a bit of gardening and then I thought, oh, let's go in and quickly do a video of a darker, warmer toned look that has been requested by one of my lovely subscribers. Okay, so that's that shade all up pretty much in the crease area, just above the crease a bit because I've got my hooded eyes. And if your eyes are hooded too, you might want to take it up a bit higher. Okay, next shade is the darker shade which is Cypress Umber which is this one here and we are going to basically whack that near the inner corner sort of creating our halo eye now so I'm going to put the deeper shade here we can go back over this in a minute after you've done your shimmer shade I'm just going to put that there so we've got like some nice depth and then I'm going to go over this side and make it dark on this side and this leaves that space in the middle because that's where you're going to pick your shimmer really easy really quick this look well i say that <laughs> at the moment it's looking a bit weird but it will all come together like the other eye i say uh and there we go and i'm not going to blend that out too much at the minute just a little bit with the top and then this bit near here let's bring it out a bit so you can see a bit of that depth put that a bit in the crease near the sides and now in a minute we're going to use the orangey shade this one down here regular regular probably butchering that wrong and it's a really nice orange shade. I don't know what I'm showing you. You can see it on my eyes. Um, yeah, it's a really nice one. And I'm just going to basically whoop, line this. Sort of like doing 
eyeliner with it. Going all the way across where I've left like a little gap. And I'm going to take a little bit and do it in the corner too. Just like that. And then take some along the bottom lash line. I'm sort of just stamping it on at the minute. And leave a gap there. And then sort of like create a wing. I like to sort of look in my mirror straight on and then shut my eye and then stamp it up a little bit. And then check I've got it like symmetrical. And then flick out the little bit so then it gives me like a little wing. I feel like it's the easiest way. Especially when you've got really hooded eyes, I find it quite difficult doing... Like I can do like the black winged eyeliner on top. But I find when you don't have much lid spray, like I don't. I just always like doing a like reverse cat eye. That's what some people call it. And you can just do it with your eyeshadows. It's really easy. Okay, going in with my Love Shy. I'm just gonna take that up a little bit more on a second. Because I've just noticed. You see the difference? That's taken up more. You can see the colour. Here you can't because of all this skin's hiding it. So I'm gonna go in with Bit more of that brown take it here first and then we're going to sweep the excess of it just above only ever so slightly though more of the brown is going to be concentrated into this side and this side just like that and i'm going to deepen it up again in one minute and that'll do now I'm going to take some Love Shy, which is like basically like glitter gel glue stuff. So you guys that's a sub to me, you know I use this a lot. It's very good. I'm just going to put that all in the middle. And now I'm going to go in and pick up that. We're going to go in um, the golden shade. Uh, Primavera? Primavera? That one is the one we're using. And it is beautiful. See, look at that from afar and close. It's such a blinding shade where you can see it on my eyelid when I look down. It just looks so glossy and like, yeah. And we're just going to push that all over the eye. And then take it over the edges a little bit. Just really like smooth it out. And then we're going to go back into our brushes. And then deepen up the dark areas. So go back in the dark, the brown that's just the side of this ember. Go for the excess and just deepen up the edges and get, take it over a little bit where the gold is. Clean off your brush, go back in again with the brown and deepen up this side here and a bit on the top and then a bit here. We just want to deepen that up a bit. And I'm taking my brush that I love, really thin skinny one, you can use any brush that you want. And I'm going in with Tempera, which is the lightest shade in the palette, to brighten up my inner corner. Boom. And then I'm going to do my eyebrow up here. I'm just going to make it look a bit brighter. Like so, a little bit there. And then take my tall, skinnier brush again and just take up the darker colour a bit more so I can see the other side is higher. And I'm just blending it up a bit more. Like that. Okay, and I'm going to take the same golden shade and I'm just going to take a bit on my little brush, put a bit of love shine in the corner, and then boom. It's such a lovely shimmery shade, but it's so like subtle and smooth and not like, you know, chunky glitter. That's what I like about um, ABH shimmer, shimmers. I just, I'll get closer to you. Um, I'm just going to finish off with some eyeliner and mascara for this look i'm just going to use a nice little nude um pencil it's max factor the glaze one that i like using a lot 
a really nice one. Taking it quite into the inner corner. And it's great for like highlighting and everything. And their mascara is the e.l.f. one I've been using. And lip wise, I'll just show you what I did. I did a little bit of my Clueless pencil liner. And then I did a bit of my e.l.f. brown lipstick and drive. And then I got my Jam Sessions um, oil with a little lip brush. Took it off the stick and put a little bit just in the centre of the lips. Just to give it that like pounce look and uh yeah and this is the elf wand stick in case you're wondering i am really really enjoying this mascara from elf that they came out with it's really good it stays on for ages and it does not clump or flake or make me have panda eyes it's just a really good one and it costs like hardly anything okay and here is the finished look i'm just gonna look down and around for you guys so you can see i think it's turned out really nice Again, like I said, I'm not really that confident when it comes to like um, more warmer eye colours, but I feel like I've achieved a nice look with this palette. And yeah, let me know if you try out this look. Um, do you guys want to see more warm tones, cool tones, just your normal everyday looks, different palettes? Um, I really like this look. Yeah, maybe I can get away wearing some more warmer tones. And again, that shimmer shade. You could do this look out of the shimmer shade, but I feel like it helps it pop more, and especially with um, the Vermeer shade in the inner corner. No, not Vermeer. We use the Primera. I think you pronounce it. But these two shimmer shades, they're so good. Like, I would buy, like, the, the other new palette they came out with had those two shades in it, but I think it only has one of the shades in it. I have to double check, because once these have gone, I would love to have them. Like, I, yeah, I would want them. They're like, they would be, a, they are staples in my collection. But yeah, anyway, I hope this was helpful to you. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.